Oasis accredited as being one of the most influential guitar bands to come out of the UK in the 90s and early 2000s, writing timeless songs that everyone still loves to this day, and breaking records for the amount of debut albums sold in the first week. Today we're going to look at exactly how Oasis defines their early sound. Gallagher had quite a modest setup in the early days, usually using an Epiphone Les Paul, but then later graduating to a Gibson Les Paul. His amp rig was also quite modest and unusual, using a Wem Dominator Mark III, sometimes paired with an AC30 to get his iconic wall of sound that we hear all over the first Oasis albums. I'm actually using the Orange OR30 throughout all of this video, as to me, it does a really good job of nailing these cranked up British amp tones, and Noel even had his own signature Orange amp at one point. One thing to note though, it's not just the gear Oasis used in the early days to get this massive wall of sound. There was a lot of compression and limiting in the mixing and mastering stage that really created that huge wall of sound. But at the same time, you really need that cranked up amp thing to get this sound as well. Bonehead had a pretty similar setup really, usually using his Epiphone Rivera and the JCM 900 Marshall stack. This also added heavily to that massive wall of sound, usually only employing bar chords that accompany Noel's parts, further thickening the sound and adding to their huge wall of sound. Pedal-wise, Noel's setup is really minimalist as well. He didn't really use a lot of pedals early on, however, he did use an RE-201 Roland Space Echo to add some movement and space to his sound, whilst Bonehead pretty much kept his guitar sound heavy and dry. Noel would later go on to use a Vox Wah pedal, a TS-9 Tube Screamer, presumably for boosting his lead lines, and adding a DD-3 delay from Boss. Noel's setup really doesn't change much throughout the years. He'd add an amp here and there, but most notably a Vox AC30, especially when going into the Morning Glory years, and also using a few different guitars, different Les Pauls, Epiphone Rivera, and 335s. At its very core, the Oasis sound was a humbucker guitar through cranked up British amplification. So there we have it, a look at the gear that Noel and Bonehead used to create their legendary wall of sound on the first couple of Oasis albums. Really simple, humbucker guitars and cranked up British amps, but you really can't forget that super heavy compression and limiting used in the mixing mastering stage. Really that is the defining factor in this, but you do need the core elements as well. The mixing and mastering is a really big reason to why Oasis sounded like they did and actually spawned the loudness wars, which would push recording music to be louder and louder for better or for worse. Let me know 
down in the comments what your favorite Oasis album is and maybe even your favorite Oasis tone. If you did like the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. As always, I've been Harry and thanks for watching.